Hi there, this is Jero from ProSite Tutorials and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show to you how you can use WordPress Custom Menu, which is really a great option that allows you to better organize your website. And I know that you're probably thinking why you need to use a custom menu if you already have a menu appearing on your navigation bar. Well, the one that you currently very probably have is automatically created by WordPress. By this I mean you cannot organize the links the way that you want inside your navigation bar. Neither can you choose the pages that you want to appear over here. For example, if I create a privacy policy page, which is many times a page that you certainly don't want appearing on your main navigation bar, but if I create one, privacy policy, let's add some dummy content and disable this options, publish it. If I refresh my website, you will see that it will automatically appear on my navigation board. So I really cannot choose the the pages that I want appearing and many times you really don't want your privacy policy page neither your contact page. So for you to actually control this you need to create a custom menu. Also by using a custom menu you can also add uh, different menus to different sections of your website. So for you to use this option you go to appearance and you select menus. Okay and once you go to this page the first thing that you want to do is to add a menu name and in this case it will be main menu and just press create menu Okay, now uh, there are several options that will appear below. The first one, which I'm not going to check because by checking this, each time that you create a new page, it will automatically be added to your main menu. And in this case, I want to have them manually. Over here, this really depends on the theme that you want, but this allows you to choose the place that you want to put your menu on your website. And I know that many themes really don't allow you to put on the footer. In this case I want primary navigation. Now I'm good to have the pages that I want to my main menu so I just need to check the pages and press add to menu. And once I save menu and refresh my website you will see that only the links, the pages that I selected, appear. And now I'm going to organize them. And for me to do that, I just need to drag and drop. Very simple. Also, you can go uh, over here, select the posts that you might want to add to your, uh, to your navigation bar. Links, for example, if you want to link to another website, or even to a page within your website, you can go over here, you put the URL and the test link, let's say one to Google, and you just add to menu. You can also add categories and tags. And if you don't see this options appearing over here, you just need to go to screen options and you just need to check them. If you, by checking them, they will actually automatically appear below. I'm just going to save this menu once again and it's done. Okay, now once I refresh it, it's organized the way that I want. Also I have a link to Google and now I want to create another menu for, for my footer. So it will appear over here below and this menu will be to show my contact page and also my privacy policy page. So for that, I just need to create a new menu by choosing, by selecting this link over here. And I'm going to call this menu Footer Menu. 
and create menu. And I'm just going to simply add my contact page and my privacy policy page to it, add to menu, and I'm going to choose the last option that says footer navigation. So this really depends on the theme as I said previously. Anyway, uh, later I will show to you another way that you can do this without having these options. So I'm just going to save menu, refresh my website, and you can see that below a new navigation bar will appear where I will have my privacy policy page and also my contact page. Okay, another way that you can also place uh, custom menus throughout your website is simply by going to widgets. For example, if you wanted to add a new menu, in this case to your sidebar, you would only go to this section that says primary sidebar. And once again, this depends on the theme that you are using. Some themes are a bit different. And you go below where it says custom menu. You choose this option, you click on it, and simply drag it and place it over here. And you can write whatever you want. I'm going to just write main menu. And where it says select menu, you choose the menu that you want to display. And same thing goes if you, for example, if previously you didn't have the footer uh, option to choose from, if you go to widgets, you can also do the same thing by creating a, a footer menu as I showed previously, but instead you go over here to the footer section and you had a custom menu, but in this case you would select, let's, in this case you would select footer menu. And I'm not going to do that just to show it to you. So I'm going to save and now once I refresh my website I will have a different menu appearing on my main sidebar. So as you can see this is really a fantastic option that uh, allows you to organize your website better and that is all for this video. Please subscribe to ProSite Tutorials YouTube channel so you can receive our latest updates. You just need to click on the link below from this video. Also, if you have any question, just leave it on the comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible. So that is all for now. Stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials and bye.